Hey everybody, just a reminder video of one of my favorite features in Logic. This is the drum replacement tool. I've made a couple videos about this over the years, but not one recently with any of the new versions. And uh, so I thought I would just uh, take a little look at this right now. Um, this is an amazing tool. And um, in this particular example, I'm gonna be just using hand claps. So I just simply recorded myself clapping. And um, that means you can take any sound you want. You could just hit uh, an object. As long as you're doing kind of one part at a time, there is a way to do multiple parts if you're using multiple microphones. But um, in this case, I'm just simply just using one microphone. I just clapped in the hi-hat part, clapped in the kick part, clapped in the snare part. And so that's what I have so far. Let me play that for you right here. Let's see. You can hear me whistling along a little bit with that too. Okay, cool. So now the only thing I want to do is I did this uh, hi-hat part uh, a few times in a row, uh, or just one time I want to repeat it so I could repeat it a few times in a row. So I'm just going to glue that out uh, into a new file. Now I'm going to click on this. Control D is the actual file that we're looking at. So this is replace or double drum track. In this case, I want to replace it. And that's because um, I, I don't have another existing set of instruments. Sometimes with a kick, I just want to layer another kick with this. Uh, and so that's not the case. We're going to go to other. And I'm going to come down here to where it says hi-hat. And we're going to do a closed hi-hat. And you'll see we don't have MIDI file or MIDI notes every single place. We could zoom in a little bit more if we want. But I'm going to adjust the threshold until I get a consistent pattern across the whole thing. Just like that. So we're going to do replacement. We're going to do OK. Now one other thing I have to do sometimes with this is actually, usually when you're doing the kick, and you'll see that in a second, you can actually load all that up. Um, but for whatever reason, we're not getting that directly off there. So I'm going to actually um, do a drum kit designer and just do the default kit for a second. So what you're seeing with all of this is the actual velocity that I clapped it at. If I wanted a more consistent velocity, I could do that just by clapping more consistently. Um, we could also come through here, select all, and do velocity tool and just pump up the volume a little bit. And we'll talk about actual... Um, quantization in just a moment. Let's come down and do this with the kick now. Let's make sure we have the kick track selected and the region. Control D. It pops up. Looks like we have good MIDI coverage for all of those things. Let's um, preview. Okay, so now we've got these two parts. Let's do the last one and then we'll quantize things. Control D. Uh, make sure it stays on replacement. I think that just happened last time, but we had it on. But let's make sure it's on replacement. Let's preview. Okay, so now I've got all three of those happening. Now 
And so we're getting a little bit better picture now of what we had in the first place. Um, one thing I want to do right off the bat is select, 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 and I want to do the glue tool for those and put them all into one on top of my drum kit designer. And then they all become one MIDI file. And let's do quantization of 16th notes. And then I think there was an extra clap that I don't want here. So let's get rid of that. We can edit these down for the claps where we want them. So a really simple pattern. I liked, uh, you know, this could be something where I'm going to put another instrument in here and combine them. But I like that I can just like get an idea with some claps and convert it into this. Are there other ways to do this? Of course. I mean, we can do this with the drum the drummer track, we can program in things, we can use a keyboard, but I really like that we can add stuff in here just using um, our hands. And I think a microphone. Capture that. Let's do one more instrument just because. Okay, so then everything can be put together. We can use this original one as a groove track if we'd like. Um, let's turn on the groove track. Okay, hope this was useful. I hope that it all made sense. Uh, if you find this type of video useful, let me know and we'll make more of them.